Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Active Reload. We're on the Sheridan Media channel. Hello, my Sheridan Media friends. Yeah. This is so. Active Reload. This is a video game podcast. Uh, we're posting it here on Sheridan Media. Hello, everybody. If you are a liker of this podcast, go and check it out. We have our own YouTube channel, Active Reload. Just type it into the old search bar on YouTube. You'll find us, Active Reload. We post every week talking about video games, and we're just giving you a little, little taste, a little bitty, itty bitty taste of what you can go get at the Active Reload channel on YouTube. Go and check it out. You can also listen to us, all the popular podcasting platforms. We also post the audio over on sharedmedia.com as well, so you can go check it out there if you're not able to watch it. Welcome to Active Reload. This is episode 47. So, 47. So we have plenty of other stuff that you can go and listen to. That's Grant. I'm James. So, uh, we're going to be talking about college football. EA Sports College Football 25. Yes. Got its big reveal. It's big reveal trailer out. Uh, some details were put out as well synonymously with the uh, the trailer. Uh, we got 11 uh, years waiting for this. 11 years in the making. Almost, almost more. Actually yeah. 12 because it came out in 2013. Yeah, you're right. For NCAA 14. Uh, and then we got a big sale going on, Xbox 360 Marketplace. We'll talk about that just a little bit. Not too much going on there, but we just mentioned it. Uh, Grant has a top five that I know nothing about. Yep. And then we'll get into what's releasing and what we're playing. Welcome to the show. All right, EA Sports, yep. college football. The uh, you you and I's yeah. most anticipated game coming this year, which is crazy because it's definitely my most anticipated game. It and is. then my second most also came out today. Today, Hellblade Two is out but right now. Here's the question I have off the top: mm -hmm. top Is ropes. this the title EA Sports yes. College Football? I believe because I don't think they really want an affinity with NCAA anymore. No. Because of neither do I, I. I don't think they really need it anymore either. Because they're going basically directly to the players and are like, "Hey, we'll pay you to be in this game." Hey, James. There it is. I'm definitely not a fan of the official NCAA. I would agree with you. Okay, Good I would job. agree with you. Uh, you know, some shady practices over the last Big. hundred. How long did it take? A uh, hundred and fifteen years. Yeah, hundred and fifteen years to now. let the players earn money. Players themselves. Are making some money. Good job. Uh, you know, after through a billion dollar, multi billion dollar industry, they're finally making some money. Yeah. They can actually feed themselves that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, well, so it's now, not the fact that they. Were like they needed money. It's just that they're killing yeah, themselves. But they deserved it. Yeah, they, the, yeah. I mean, they're the workforce. Yeah, they're the reason it's as popular as it is. Yeah, no kidding. Um, so yeah, EA Sports College Football is the official name. EA Sports College Football Twenty Five. The last one that came out, NCAA Fourteen, was in Twenty Thirteen with the Twenty Fourteen season oncoming. Um, and, and it's been it's, now twelve years. And it was also loved by everybody. It was very well liked. Yes, it was loved by everybody. It's only it's grown a even stronger following since NCAA football st ceased being a thing because yeah. of a lot of the lawsuits and whatnot. Um it's only grown a stronger following there and uh yeah, it's good stuff. There my favorite stat about this release about EA Sports College Football 25 is that Wait, wait, wait. You said 25. Is that what it's going to be called? Yeah, it's 25. Oh. Cuz the 20 Season ends yeah. in the 25th, on the 25th year, okay. whatever, 2025. Um, my favorite stat regarding EA Sports College football, the gap between NCAA mm -hmm. 14 and the release of EA Sports College football 25, 12 years, is still shorter than the gap that we'll get for between GTA 5 and GTA 6. Wow. Which is insane. To well, think that we were playing GTA 5 when... or. What's NCAA the, football 14 would have just come out when GTA 5 had just come out. So, so weird. what's more impressive? The GTA 5. The length of GTA 5? Yes. Are you kidding me? They make they still make Or the fact that the NCAA dollars. held this deal for so long. Well, yeah, that's I I I would honestly be curious to see how long they've actually been working on this game. They announced it, I want to say 2022, maybe 2023, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and that's what uh, I, I want to talk about heavily is my first impressions mm -hmm. regarding this long development process. Yeah. It took a long time, apparently, because I remember the, the announcement being just a Twitter post, and I remember it being, we're back, that type of thing, and that was yeah easily two to three years ago. So it's been been a long time coming um and it's good to see that they're finally coming back they're here e yeah Sports, we got our first reveal trailer i'll be honest with you you want me to be completely honest with you yeah this trailer did not get it to me the way but the one before this the official i guess kind of announcement trailer that came out in february 
um, was it? It brought a little tear to my eye. I'll be oh, honest yeah. with you, because I was like, "Wow, we really made You're it!" I can't here. believe it's back. I really there were times, you know, 2017, 2018, where I was like, "We'll never see a game again." You're like, it'll "I'm gonna die happen. before I can play this yeah, one." It'll never ever happen, mainly because the NCAA was still going strong. There were rumblings about like. Uh, for those that don't know, the biggest reason that this game disappeared was because the players um, were being created in the game, but they weren't being named in the game. Yeah, and it because was, of that, it was their their likeness. But right, what was argued is that their number and their stats weren't mm-hmm. their likeness. It wasn't them, but, but it, it, was, it them. was. Yeah, and that was the big argument. They got sued for it. EA Sports got sued for it. They lost the suit. And that basically put an end to NCAA yeah. football, uh, as well as basketball too. Basketball was able to survive after yeah. that as well. College hoops, two uh, K. Yeah, that I, the thirteen, I think. Was right, the, it was, was the last one. Um, but yeah, so the suit killed the game, and for a while, I was like, okay, we're never going to see another game again. And here we are. NIL is in is in uh, is in full effect throughout the college athletic scene, yeah. and now. They can make money off of their likeness. Last I checked, um, the report I remember reading is all the players that decided to uh, be in this game, because they all had to sign off on it themselves, Mm -hmm. uh, they get $600 and a free copy of the game, which is, you know, it's not a ton, obviously, but... You know, for however many, there's like 132 schools. I mean, that's in the sixty dollars that they lost. Then, right, of course, basically. and six, yeah, six hundred free bucks. Um, and all you have to do is kind of scan your face and provide your image and likeness, and you're in the game. Good job, good job, EA, for finally doing it. Yes. I mean, so everybody. let's actually get into. Yeah. So can you game. break this down? Because I saw the trailer and mm-hmm. I did not see the article writing right. uh, that was written about all the features in this game. So Go they ahead. released a um, tie-in like uh, opening page for the release of the trailer as well, kind of telling everybody what's to come in EA Sports College Football. Um, funny enough for the Sharon and Knights, the Wyoming Knights, Wyoming shown twice. Yeah, the University it was. of Wyoming yeah, shown was twice cool. in this trailer. Yep. Uh, more than uh, a large majority of any other SEC I think school? Oregon or was only school. shown once, and that's yeah, my favorite. Team. It was there was not for whatever reason. University of Wyoming uh, got some pretty good rep- representation in this trailer, uh, shown twice. Uh, they had a whole kickoff sequence that US uh, that University of Wyoming was a part of that was in this trailer. Yeah, it's true. I, I didn't was think like, about that. wow, somebody kickoff. on this team must have gone to the University of Wyoming or something like nah. that. There was nah, crazy they, to me. They're on the up and up. We'll talk about that later. No, they uh, are. So uh, the EA Sports College <laughs> Football. Um, First thing that was kind of brought up in this, uh, not the trailer, but the the release, the article that was released afterwards, um, was mainly the team building is back. Team Builder, for those of you that don't know, was kind of a uh, create your own school game mode that you could play on your previous ones. Yeah, that was um, fun. Which you could make your own stadium, you could make your own signs, you make your uniforms and all that stuff. Made a bunch of high school teams. Yeah, if you had a school that you wanted to create, you could do that. A lot of people were questioning whether that would come back because it doesn't really... Uh, they kind of replicate that a little bit in like Ultimate Team and whatnot. And Ultimate Team is going to be in this game because that's how they're going to make a lot of money, obviously, or a lot of their money, I would presume. Um, so a lot of people thought that that was just going to get replaced by Ultimate Team, but it's back in the game. Cool. They're allowing people to do that as well uh, in team building, and you could put it into like a dynasty mode and play as that team and whatnot. And I'm sure it'll transfer to Mad into. You think we'll so? We'll see. I don't they didn't know. Mention that. Uh, they haven't. I don't think they've really done a team building in a while for Madden, and it becomes a little bit more, I think, complicated. So we're gonna, I'm going weird. to compare this to Madden often for better or worse, right. actually, for mostly for worse. Um, another one that I noted here was assemble your own coaching staff in Dynasty, and Transfer Portal is confirmed in the game in both Dynasty yeah, and, and Road to Glory. Um, so Road to Glory? Cool. Is that, that when you start as a high school guy? You, play your school own, you only play one position, right? Or right. you play? Yeah. Um, there wasn't a whole lot, a whole many details that I saw about okay. Road to Glory in specifics, um, but I'm assuming they're probably going to keep it pretty similar to what the 14 one was because that's what everybody really liked. Um, one of my favorite things that they bring back, home field advantage. The yeah. screen shaking is going to be back. I don't know about it. I hate, I'll love turn it. that off. I absolutely adore yeah. it. I hope they don't allow you to have the option, to be honest with you. Because that's college football, baby. I know. Yeah, but no, one, no one's head is shaking from... No, but it's it's so loud that it's it's affecting your okay your equilibrium. I mean, yeah. You're throwing up. <laughs> Have you been in a loud, loud city oh, yeah, like that? Yeah, oh. yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, it's not... I, they're just trying to add 
the feeling, I guess, which yeah, is hard to do with just I, noise, you know. Which is the best thing about college, right. these college football and, games. And it's possible that, like, online they have it taken off. I wouldn't be stunned by that. Yeah, yeah. Um, another one that I thought was interesting, two different broadcast teams what? are part of this, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, one for the big games, which will be the ones that usually call the big games. I can, I never, I always confuse Is it Gus people. Johnson? Please. No, it's ESPN no. related. So it's going to be Reese Davis, Kirk Herbstreet, and then the other oh, one for like regional games is like Chris Fowler and okay. a couple other people. So, so hot take from Grant, um. Go ahead. I Be careful here. I by don't the way. like. I've never met him, mm-hmm. but the, uh, the who's the second guy? Kirk Herbstreet. Yeah, I like Kirk Herbstreet. Not I think fan. he's. I you know not a fan of his play by play. It's just well, no. See, I like his. I his like his color. I like his color. I think his color is very good. No, I and don't. Chris Fowler is really good as a player. Yes, yeah, Chris Fowler. I think cool. he's really good. But no one holds a candle right. to Gus Johnson. Of course not. I, I didn't think they were going to get Gus Johnson because you have to have they're they're getting the ESPN rights back. So yeah. they're able to have all the ESPN like score bugs and whatnot. Okay. And Gus Johnson isn't part of ESPN. So this is really cool, though. I like the two yeah. broadcast teams. Yeah, it's I think really it, cool. It'll make it more interesting for like national games and feel bigger. Yeah. When you have like the big guys actually calling. And when the like games. Fresno State plays Wyoming, it's right? Be it'll else. be the smaller group, which is understandable, unless 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 it's Wyoming Fresno State conference championship. Now game. here's then, here's a great question: Are there any uh, Division One AA teams? Yeah, the FCS schools. FCS all schools. In. I believe. I believe they're all like in Montana the game. State and yeah. stuff. I'm pretty sure that they're all in. Last I checked, they had like a list that showed that all the FCS schools were all. And another in. I question. Think, I could be wrong I know, about you that. Could be and wrong, I apologize. But an, another good question to ask later, I guess, mm-hmm. to somebody who don't know, is if they have that what 30, uh, 16 team playoff. I don't know if they have the sixteen, but they have the. The one that's coming this year, which is an the six six team playoff, yeah, right, right, isn't it six? No, it's twelve. Twelve team playoff. Well, they're going 12? twelve. Yeah, it's a twelve team playoff. Wow, four to twelve. Yeah, sorry guys, last year. Well, here's the thing: like the the playoff is always going to have issues, but twelve, whatever. So, I mean, I think the the closer you get to March Madness, the better off that. That's for your that podcast. Was when when yeah. I go off on that playoff structure and preseason rankings, which. Online Dynasty is back. Me sick. Online Dynasty. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I'm I'm happy that they're bringing Online Dynasty back. It supports up, supports up to 32 yeah. people. Can so I you be can get, in your uh, Dynasty? Eh, we'll talk after. Okay. I'm just kidding. If you want to be, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know who you'll pick. Oregon. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't think that team will be taken. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we'll have uh, Online Dynasty is gonna be back. You can bring up to 32 players. I also did not think they were gonna bring this back because I don't think they have this in Madden. What? Um, the well, maybe they do have the online thing. I can't remember. It, nah. Madden's so convoluted in my mind. Okay. Um, but yeah, lots of big things that they're bringing back. Um, I'm surprised they kept a lot of the stuff that was in the most recent iteration, 2014, um, like Road to Glory. I, I figured they were going to bring Road to Glory back, but in a much more um, slimmed down and minimalized version, because that's kind of what we get from the like pro career in uh, the Madden games, it's not very good. They try to kind of follow the same path as like 2K does, where they try to tell a story through the career mode, but it wasn't very interesting the two times that I played it. It wasn't nearly as good as 2Ks and not as flushed out as 2Ks. Um, so I hope they bring back, I mean, they're bringing back Road to Glory, but I hope they bring it back in the same sense that uh, they had it before. And from some of the stuff that I saw was like, there were things that you could like, you had to manage your GPA and you had to like schedule out. You had to schedule out when you were going to class and whatnot. I was like, man, you're going to be the only person doing that. (laughs) Um, So what did you think about the actual gameplay that you saw? The trailer itself, in my opinion, was cool. I liked it. They had uh, definitely got the feel. Yes, they had uh, the a couple of like very famous songs that they were playing in the background, and then they were merged into um, like uh, band renditions of the yeah, song, yeah. which made me think. Actually, I was wondering and was curious if they were going to have band renditions of popular songs or like stuff like a regular soundtrack, and then possible renditions of different songs. Well, in, like band is playing. It'd be really cool if they paid the schools. Band members, they probably to, won't to like make. I would assume music for their. So here's what at least their fight songs. What I yeah, what I do know is that they do have um like all the FBS teams fight songs. Mm-hmm. They have all those. So I don't know if they brought in the actual hey, band Jim, to do that or if they just had an orchestra to do that. Hey, James, whatever. what? What's Oklahoma's fight song? I actually don't know the oh name. Oh my of it. god! You call yourself a fan? It might just be. It's not a. I don't like their fight <laughs> song to be honest with you. It, it, I think it's just Boomer Sooner, but. 
I don't actually. The, don't know I know how the song goes, but sing it for I don't everybody. know how the song goes. Okay. I, I've don't, heard it. Don't sing it. Um, but yeah, I don't know the actual name of it. Okay. Um, just joking, buddy. Uh, but yeah, so they're gonna have uh, obviously all the marching bands. They have all the fight songs and everything. I don't know if they brought in the marching band. That was okay, a thing. but so you saw like what did you think about the gameplay? The gameplay itself was non-existent. So that's what I wanted to talk so. about real quick. Here we go. Let's let's clear the stage. I can't stand Madden. Not because of it comes out every year and it's always disappointing and there's bugs. That's that's definitely true. There's always mm-hmm. a lot of bugs for some stupid reason. But it just the on the field gameplay, it doesn't quite look like a football game. They don't run properly, they don't take angles or tackle properly. The collisions, I'm not there. I know it's very hard to do that. But when I was watching this trailer, I wanted to see a next step in the Madden college football slash the football video game gameplay. And I didn't see it. I saw, you know, your basic Madden collisions. They also hid a lot. Hid? Yeah, hid. hid. Okay, I see. Hid a lot with like cheeky camera angles and stuff like that made it very cinematic but what i really wanted to see is i really wanted to see what it looked like like a full play or something Mm -hmm. but they just didn't show it i think maybe they will yeah that's that's my um belief is that they're going to show more of it as we get closer to release date i don't think they were were planning on showing because if you go back and look at some of the older trailers the reveal trailers they don't normally do that it's always like the stuff that yeah the presentation stuff yes very presentation focused um but i still would have liked to see a very big or at least a a one step forward in mm -hmm. terms of the gameplay and the animation and stuff and i just don't think we're going to get i think we're going to get madden 25 right in college 25 would it be 25 the next no, Madden? remember Madden 25 was Madden oh, 13 you're right. or whatever. So it's 24 is that oh right now. Gosh. I have no idea what they're going to call 25. Um, that's right. That's yeah. funny. I bet they'll call it 25. They probably will. Enough time has passed. And um, I just, I want, they've been developing this game for so long. Yeah. This team could have been like, this is the time to show off what the future of our EA football is going to look like. Mm. Maybe they will. I'm also curious to see if they end up doing, and they almost certainly will because it's, EA, um, but like yearly iterations. Yeah, I'm I'm interested. You, to see you think if they, they will? That. I I would I be know. a big fan if they took two years and they just roster updated. That's exactly. That's and, what I would and, want. You know, quality of life stuff. And maybe add right. something more, like some sort of DLC, something to charge somebody. Right. Something, but not a full price. But maybe a thirty a thirty dollar charge for not the rosters mm-hmm. that should be free. But for something that they can add in. But the thing is... A training or something. The thing is with the rosters, though, since you get a whole new selection of players, you have to be able to pay the rosters that are coming in. Yeah. So they probably just have to re-release a newer game, I would assume. Man. I don't want them to get locked into that yearly I would imagine... I mean, it's EA. That's what they do. I just, I, this is a good time to showcase the future of your EA football. Yeah. And I, this I would be, it's going to be disappointing. This would be a the good, game will be fun. This would be a good launching pad for them to set up a new version of how they want the future to look for a lot of their releases. Yeah. That's Cause everybody I mean. is so anticipatory for this football game. And this could be there be like, okay, this is how it's going to look in the future. Not just for college football, but for everything else that we're planning on doing in the future, whether it be Madden or if they, for some reason, bring, bring back NBA Live or if they bring back whatever else, a PGA game or whatever. Um, I just wanted to follow up really quickly. There are yeah. a couple um, FCS schools that are going to be in the game. It's not all of them. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine all um, of them. But. but there are, from what I understand from what I'm reading here, there are okay. a couple. Like some, Most of the um, SWAC is going to be in there, which is probably the most famous Um uh, FCS conference, even though they don't win a lot because it's usually dominated by like the Big Sky conference yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, Big Sky. There's no Big Sky in there. The the area that we're sitting in is FCS gold. Yeah, it's yeah. This this is the SEC version of the FCS <laughs> is where we're sitting right now. Yeah, it's true. Um, so yeah, I thought it was that's like I understand your gameplay um hesitancy. Yeah, totally. Um, I'm kind of in the same boat with you with Madden where I haven't adored the gameplay by any means. Um, but I think the thing that really makes EA and college football, EA Sports College football games better for this version of football is because the stakes always feel a lot higher in EA Sports College football, whether it be in Dynasty mode and whatever it is. Um, just because 
a lot of the stuff that revolves around college football is just cooler. Yeah, a lot cooler. <laughs> than in the NFL, in my opinion. Yeah, the I, I, pageantry, the fans, the, the fight rivalries. songs, everything. The, the rivalries, rivalries. You name it. It's all, in my opinion, just better than what the NFL Every does. Every game is treated like a playoff. Right, and because they are. I mean, yeah. you got 12 games to play, and if you lose one game, that's probably going to change a little bit with the 12-team playoff. Well, I think that, uh, man, hopefully the 12-team playoff just accepts um, conference champions and then at at large, bids. yeah, I, I think it's going to be it's going to be breeding that way. So, like the Power Five conferences, whoever wins those, depending on how many losses you have, I guess, <laughs> depending on how many Power Five conferences well, are left. Yeah, that's true. We still the Pac-12 is still just Washington State and Oregon State, oh, so man. they're going to play each other eleven times, and then <laughs> whoever wins is going into the college football playoff. Uh, not really, but I, that's you know, it, depending on their Power Five conferences and how they shake out, I think that's kind of just how it's going to end up being. So, um, but yeah, j- like. That feeling in college football that you get that every single week matters, like no matter who you're playing, whether you're playing Utah State or you're playing Texas, like you have to win those games and do yeah. it in a convincing fashion in order for you to end up making yeah, the playoff. The, the pedal is never, or the foot is never lifted off the pedal. Right. And that's what I like. And if I it does, really it can can't help stand, against you. I really can't stand week, what is it, week 15 right. in the NFL and some some teams that are just already either locked in Mm -hmm. or trying to lose right to get a first round pick and or a first pick and a perfect example for this for college football is last year what happened in last year when georgia was playing in the sec championship game they lost in the because i think a lot of maybe not the players but a lot of people were already kind of locking them in to being a playoff team yeah Uh, and then they lost in the sec championship game and it ended up they ended up not making the playoff because of it. Also, they, I mean, how many games were in the postseason where all their stars just didn't play? Oh, yeah. In the bowl games? In the bowl games. Yeah. That weren't and in the, right well, there's so. only four teams in the playoffs, but there's still a postseason. Yeah. And, but nobody plays bowl games. Bowl games are garbage. It, they'll, be fun. they'll be fun in the game. I think they'll be cool in the I think, what was it? Well, Florida State did not show up to play Georgia last well, year. Well, no, but that's because they lost so many. Like, they lost their quarterback. And at that just, point, it's like, okay. If they were, uh, you know, 11 or 12 seed right. playoff. Oh team. yeah, they fight like yeah, it'll fight like heck. Um, yeah, but whatever. Anyways, bowl games I think will be cool in the in the game. Yeah, like the, the Pop Tarts Bowl. You can the active reload bowl. Stuff. Oh my god, we should sponsor one. Sponsored by Charity Media. Yeah, the active reload Charity Media Bowl. <laughs> we can name it something absurd like that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, EA Sports College Football. There's a big reveal. Uh, it's coming out July 19th. Is cool. the release date? Uh, there's gonna. That's be two- about a month before. Uh, month, Madden? Yeah, month before Madden. It's earlier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be around mid-August, to be honest with you, yeah. um, because that's usually when college football is kind of ramping up. Well, you also don't want them to cannibalize each other. No, yeah, exactly. Um, I, and the, the other thing was uh, July 19th, and then there's three days early access, depending on the version of the game that you yeah, buy. James will buy the five hundred dollar version. I, I probably won't because I know a lot of that a lot of like the, the stuff that you receive because I was looking at it the other day is very ultimate team tailored. And yeah. I don't think I'm gonna play very much of the ultimate like, team to be honest with you. So I'm not a fan. um I'll probably I probably will have to end up getting like the ninety dollar version because I do want to get the three days early access and play it as early as possible. Um which is a genius marketing thing that they have somehow turned into uh with the three day early access stuff. Yeah. Um but but here we are. It's here. We're going to hear all you have to do is survive for another 2 months and you we can have college James. football. I hope so. Knock on wood. Um I you knock on wood. You put it here big sale Xbox 360. Big sale. Part of the news. Big sale. There's a big sale going on, on Xbox 360. A lot of the games are garbage. I'll be honest yes. with you. Not great. Bi- okay, so there's a big sale on the Xbox 360 marketplace because they're shutting it down. Yeah, it's it's over. It's ending. And there is there was a huge missed opportunity because there are a lot of games that are exclusive to 360 and I guess yep. the PS3 that never made it to backwards compatibility lists or PC. And um, they weren't on this marketplace so sale. I Sucks. remember I was looking at uh, some of the games. I'm looking at them right now. Um, Enemy I'm front. Of the list. Uh, yeah, I bought Enemy Front. It's Terrible. not good. <laughs> it's not very good at all, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but I was like, you know, I was kind of feeling a little World War II game. It's not great. It's, it's not a good it's one. It's not the best thing in the world. Uh, they have a like an ungodly amount of Just Dance games that are on there. 
like 2014 through 2019 is on sale. Hey, those are actually a lot of fun. Um, they also have a couple MX versus ATV games, some motion sports games and whatnot. Uh, the biggest one that I saw that I was like, okay, I need to get on this was uh, Chaos Theory for Splinter Cell. Oh, you, Splinter Cell crazy Chaos Theory. I didn't that. have that game, but it was 99 cents. Have you ever played that game? No. That's wow. Right. We were talking about that in a previous episode where yeah. Splinter Cell. I think that's the greatest really stealth played. game ever. Now, I, Metal Dogs. Gear Solid. What? Watch Dogs. It's for sale. Oh, Watch Dogs. Yeah, that's. But the 360 version? No, it's probably going to be garbage, but it's for sale. <laughs> um, Splinter Cell is great. Yeah. I think it's the greatest stealth game. Now, when I say that, I don't mean to disrespect Metal Gear Solid, because I think Metal Gear Solid, the original one, and two, and three, mm-hmm. are better. It's just, it's not pure stealth. And Chaos Theory is very well received. Chaos, like, it's the best one. It's just, it's for Splinter Cell. Chaos Theory is all stealth. Hang yeah. out in the shadows. Very hard. Um, I'm gonna try it out. I've what, ne- I really have never played a Splinter Cell game. That's crazy. So I just Michael never, Ironside, man. I'm not a yeah. Shout out Michael Ironside, dude. Love that guy. Also in Starship Troopers and RoboCop. Cool in that. He's in RoboCop. Wait, Michael is Ironside. he in RoboCop? No, he's not. I don't know. I you said RoboCop. I couldn't remember. So I he's in Total Recall. You. Sorry, that's what I meant. I've never seen that either. I saw Minority Report recently. So you had the party, Richter. Minority Report. Did you know they had a game for Minority Report? Yeah, yeah, I did. It was actually. I remember seeing somebody play it. It was made by the same guys that made that Bond game. The oh, Daniel Golden Craig. Eye? No. <laughs> oh. That's rare. Um, the Bond game with Daniel Craig. Oh, the, the tie-in with like Quantum of Solace, I yes, think? Yes, which was yeah. good. I remember that. I didn't play the game because I was like, this movie's terrible. I don't want to relive this yeah, it's video funny. game. I'm glad you put this on here, the 360 Marketplace, because I love 360-era mm. shooters. But now it's dead or dying. And now that a lot of them died. Yeah. That kind of leads me into my top five. Oh, all right, dude. I'm ready for this because I haven't heard anything. Yeah, I right. don't know anything about what this top five is. I have only heard that he has got about 15 OLIs. Uh-huh. So I'm going to get my blanket <laughs> ready and I'm going to take a sit back and nap. No. Uh, so it's kind of a continuation from last week mm-hmm. that I messed up on. Okay. So top five most underrated shooters, competitive shooters, like online shooters. Okay. There were a lot on the 360 era that were really underrated. And I want to, I don't know, I want to mention that these have to be underrated, meaning they were rated low. Right. That's usually And they should have been rated higher, or they were changed, like they were fixed, and now they're they're really good games. Okay. Not underrated, like underplayed, like Titanfall 2 is right. not underrated. Um, a couple of things in here are also not underrated. That's why I have a few OLIs. Last of Us factions, a lot of people would have this on their underrated list, their okay. multiplayer game. I think it's really underplayed. Wait, I, I thought that was the one that didn't come out. No, it came out of the original La- Last of Us. Their multiplayer suite was called oh. Factions. Oh, gotcha. And okay. they were developing it for the last, what, four years? And yeah. It was just canceled like, a few months ago. Yeah. For the new factions, but Last of Us Part sad. 2 factions. Yeah. Um, that is... That's OLI. underplayed OLI. These are all okay. OLIs. Splitgate. Okay. Remember Splitgate? I do remember Splitgate. That recently it was still just, rated pretty high. I think that just got recently shut down, though, didn't it? Really? Or something like that? I, I don't know. I, I think. I'm I was about talking, to play it. I don't know. Because I, I love this game. Splitgate is a, it's like Portal and Halo. Right. Yeah, that was the idea. Um, and uh, Max Payne 3. The multiplayer is super Max criminally underplayed. But it wasn't quite under. It was rated fine. It was like 70s. Right. And a lot of people were like, eh. I think uh, retrospectively, people think about Max Payne 3 a lot when it comes to underrated multiplayer games, but it, it was very unbalanced when I was, mm-hmm. I did a couple research. I also never think of Max Payne when I think videos. of multiplayer, ever. It was fun. They had a really cool mechanic where uh, time slowed down. You had bullet time. Oh, well, yeah. But anybody who was in the, like, the vicinity of mm-hmm. someone doing a bullet time thing, everybody got slowed down. So oh, if you cool. were watching from across the map and you saw people do the slowdown, you would also slow down. It was really oh, cool. Weird. Really cool mechanic. Okay. But it was really unbalanced. And they should do something like that in GTA, by the way. Yeah, and it also it felt like, like GTA because it was made by Rockstar, Rockstar instead of right. Remedy. All right, and so the final OLI, and this was hard. I wanted to put this on my list. It was Quake Champions. Quake Champions is super underrated. How? How is that underrated? It's a Quake game. I know. It's just, it's they the, have a literal con named after it. I know, it. but it's a it's a it's the latest Quake game, and I think people didn't like it because it was kind of a hero shooter-y. 
instead of. I'm glad you left this off your list. I, I did. I would have ripped you apart. Why? No, well, you think it's because underrated? it's Quake. It's Quake. They invented first person shooters. Yeah, I know, but this is a current one that they have that nobody played. It can't. I think because can't be it underrated. got it, it wasn't rated very. It's high. It's like saying Halo 5's multiplayer is underrated. No, it's not. That's not even close. Yeah, it is. No, because it does. Or Halo Four. No, course, because people. Because a lot of people. Halo, it's Halo. A lot of people who love Quake were disappointed by this game. Yeah, a lot of people who played Halo Four were disappointed by that game. Okay, but that's All my right. point. It's All right, Halo. so number five, we're getting into it. Okay, go ahead. This is a big one. From number th- five from the 360 era, Shadow Run. Ever heard of it? No, I don't know that one. I'll give you that one. Sure. <laughs> Shadow Run right now. Shadow Run started on Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. It was a cyberpunk turn-based strategy game. It came out a few years ago or four or five years ago of the of a uh, Kickstarter game, Shadowrun, and it went back to the Super Nintendo era Shadowrun mm-hmm. games. But this was a first-person shooter like Halo, made by former Halo developers, mm. and it was uh, round-based, class-based, and pretty much Halo and Counter-Strike. You have an economy like Counter-Strike where you have to buy your guns right. in the beginning. Your armor and whatnot. And your armor and stuff like that. There were um, almost hero elements to it, very ahead of its time, heavily underrated. People rated it bad because back then, nobody wanted an online-only game. Oh, right. They yeah. wanted a campaign with it. Yeah. And there were no bots either. This game, by the way, is still played online. You could play it backwards compatible. Mm-hmm. It also is cross-platform with PC users. And on PC, you have to have games for Windows Live because it came out during... Ugh. Windows Vista. But God. this game is a lot of fun. Um, really skill-based, hard as nails, and um, it's still played today, and people love it. I played it the other day. Fantastic. I only got in with, like, it was a three-on-three match instead of a 5v5 match. Mm-hmm. Um, those guys wiped the floor with me. Yeah, dedicated players. <laughs> They've been playing for years, and they, they were nice, though. So that's number five. Shadow run. Number four, I don't know if you heard this. Okay. Day of Infamy. Uh, yeah, I've heard of Day of Infamy. So Day of Infamy is made by one of my favorite multiplayer developers, mm-hmm. which is, um, um, what is it called? Uh, New World Interactive. New World. They, they make NWO Insurgency. Or NWI. Dang it. They make Insurgency. Right. Insurgency Sandstorm. This game came out before Sandstorm, and it was basically a spiritual successor to the old Valve game, Day of Defeat. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's very hardcore, realistic, fast-paced World War II shooter with very unique maps and um, a game mode that is kind of like a um, tug of war okay. where you capture flag A, they capture flag D, then you meet in the middle and it goes back and forth. Really cool. Loved it. Uh, people do not play this anymore. It was, it was rated really low. Mm-hmm. It was in the 60s and 70s on Metacritic. Which is... N- it's not lower bad, than it should have been low right yeah. and uh, i think the player base died off quickly but you can still find some dedicated players i played it the other night too um v- very hardcore if you like insurgency you would love this game right in number, the same vein just World number War II. three i mention on this podcast all the time okay go ahead verdun right yep verdun is super underrated and we're starting to get into extreme underrated games when this when this game came out it was destroyed by critics and then, and then it was ported to PS4, Xbox One, destroyed by fans and critics because it didn't run very well. Play this game now. It is so good. It's basically a uh, trench warfare simulator. Mm-hmm. It's like Hell Let Loose, but trench warfare. Yes, exactly. Okay. L- uh, less mechanics than right. Hell Let Loose. Hell Let Loose is pretty hardcore. Yeah, it's very over the top. Yeah, I wouldn't call this a, a war simulator or a mill sim. Mm-hmm. It's not a mill sim. But it's still pick up and play, run, jump. Everything is a sniper rifle, bolt action. Sometimes you have a pistol, like a forty-five. Total right. Sometimes you have a mounted machine gun. Really cool. Okay. Number two. Number two. Medal of Honor Warfighter. Okay. <laughs> this should be on your OLI. No, this is not. This is the quintessential underrated multiplayer game. The single player was kind of trash by a lot of people because it copied a lot of the moments of Call of Duty. Right. You know, like it was bre- trying to be a Call of Duty. Breaching in. Yeah. It was made by another team 
the multiplayer is made by Dice. Right. So it was Battlefield guys. Of Battlefield fame. And they just straight up made a great game. It was a little buggy at first. And I remember I played the beta and the beta was rough. And right. then when the game came out, it was fine. Um, this game was played for a long time. Shout out Deuce, who thinks this is one of the most underrated games ever. It, he's 100% correct. It had a really unique buddy system. Right. James, where I do you, remember that. Where me and you were going to play, we would spawn on each other. We can heal each other. We can revive each other. You don't need uh, to be a medic or anything like a typical Battlefield games. There were kill streaks like, Cal- like Call of Duty, but they were uh, very, very quick. So if you got like five kills, you can send in an airstrike insanely fast. Mm-hmm. There was some destruction like Battlefield, uh, the old Battlefield. Right. And it had uh, a, a really cool mechanic when you die. It went to slow motion and your body showed your body dying and the, where the fire was coming from. It was really cool. Hardcore as nails, very crunchy type of gameplay. I loved it. Oh, it's so good. One of the completely not playable anymore. Yeah, uh, you can't buy it anymore. And yeah, all the other games I've said that you can still play. Yeah, even you, though they're old, you can buy it through eBay, but it's not for sale. A lot of the and the reason for that, from what I remember, is that they were actually sued by the U.S. government oh, yeah. because they were using um, <laughs> classified info. yeah classified information to tell some of the stories that they were telling. It's the guys they hired to do it. Yeah, um, and. Apparently, from what also I read, the reason that Warfighter was not very well received is because it was a generic game in an oversaturated yeah. genre at that point in time. So Shadowrun came out, going back to Shadowrun, it came out in 2007. Mm-hmm. That was a year that tons of games Yeah, came 2007 out. was a very... Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare year. changed the game. That yeah. was Halo 3. Assassin's was, Creed came out that year, too. It was insane. I mean, it was a huge year. Uh, Bioshock came out that yeah. year. It just... So many good games. So they a lot of these games got overshadowed. Warfighter right. came out just like EA does all the time. Overshadowed. They had a run. Yeah. Nice. Uh, they release their games with their other games yeah. and other competitors like Call of Duty and Battlefield. And so. And a lot of the time, you're not going to get people from that are playing like when was it 2011? I think in Warfighter came yes. out or something like that. Yeah, 2011. That would have been like. Modern Warfare 3 or something like that or Black Ops 1 or whatever it was yeah. and you're going to get a hard time to get people off because that was kind of like the prime of Call of Duty for a lot of people. Yep. Um, so a it, lot of people were used to the very quick, right. super responsive 60 frames on console right? Um, shooty shooty bang bang run, and that's run. not what Medal of Honor Warfare no. was. It's so, very hardcore though. I love it. It's it, super fun. Number one, James. Mm-hmm. This is easily the most underrated multiplayer game of all time. Okay. Killzone 2. Okay. On yeah, PS3. You've talked about this. Killzone. Oh, I'm sorry, James. Am I bothering you by no, my Killzone? No, I just... I, you thought you thought about Killzone 2? Killzone 2 is not underrated when it comes to the campaign. It's perfectly rated. Everybody loved the campaign. But when multiplayer came out, same thing. Mm-hmm. People were very used to Call of Duty, the run, run, quick respawn, um, snappy aiming and kill zone two had very heavy guns, slow aiming and methodical um, mm-hmm. gameplay. I get, I should say um, the multiplayer. I love it. The only multiplayer game I've ever played where the atmosphere took first or was, was took priority. Take pri- yeah. Took priority. So when you threw a grenade in Pyrus rise, a, a famous map, it's like during a storm, um, your grenade would go off in the wind. You'd have to aim for the wind. Mm, that's when, cool. When it like exploded, that. the um, the smoke would move to the right. When you throw a smoke down, mm. the smoke would move with the wind. Mm-hmm. So you had to put your smoke down according to the wind. So there were at, there were there were weather elements that yes. you had to take into effect. Uh, there were it was class based, but you can also mix classes, which was really unique. Very team fortressy. Mm-hmm. But so you had guys with drones in the air, you had guys with turrets, you had guys that can go invisible, not really invisible, but they pretend to be, it's like the spy guy in right. Team Fortress. Um, they also had a really cool mechanic that I have never seen before. Everybody can be revived by a um, medic, even you can even revive the enemy. Um, when you shoot someone, they go down and you have to double tap them basically mm-hmm. so they can't be revived. So it made it so if people were coming up the hill and you shoot a bunch of them, if you didn't 
kill them off, they could be revived and you could lose. Also, they had a really unique structure when it came to the matches. It was all the game types in one match. So death match, you would do a death match and the winner would, uh, the, team, the green team versus the red team or whatever, the green team would have more kills at the end of the time and they'd be up 1-0. And then the next game oh, would happen right away. It'd be capture the flag. So which rounds, was, it's different rounds. Ra- like, the, they're different yes, rounds. Yes, but it, gotcha. it was seamless. Right. They had a capture the flag mode, that, which was uh, the propaganda box. You carry a propaganda box, and it's very World War II inspired, but in the future. So it was really cool. You could hear like the propaganda mm. going. You couldn't see him, but it, I love this game so much. I played it the other day. The servers were killed off a few, user, few years ago, five, four years ago, but somebody found out that you can change your DNS type on your, no way. <laughs> on your PS3, and you can search for a server that people run based off the uh, test servers back mm-hmm. in the day. They're still online. What? Yep. So you can tap into it and you can play. I played it the other night. Fantastic. Weird. Fantastic game. You can shoot from I the like hip the, really accurately. Oh, the game is so great. The weather effects are cool. I think that's cool because you yes. compare that to like the map in Battlefield 4 where there's a hurricane going yeah. on and like it's like... It really doesn't I change anything. I can snap anything. from 2,200 yards and it's no problem. Yeah. I mean... There's so much stuff in this game that has never been repeated. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. That's pretty cool. It probably, it was probably, did it run at 60 frames? Or did no, it, it did not run okay. at 60 frames. I was like, there's no way. No. You can play it on um, an emulator, mm. to, and you need a BC computer. So PS3 has never really been emulated correctly. Right. Because of that stupid cell processor. Yeah. In the PS3. That, this is why these games have never come to PS4 yeah, or PS5 Yeah, Sony does either. that, where they're like, we're going to make it just for this generation, and then it's never going to be transferable. Yeah, and they've never made a like a collection Yeah, after the game came out. It's sad. It's stuck on PS3, and there are bots, by the way. If you did get this game for your PS3, you can play bots, and bots are very competent and fun. And that's my top five, James. Top five. That's top five it. done. If you want to go see another top five... Yeah, last, last week's week. top five by me. Uh, it was uh, top five game genres that aren't actually games. <laughs> there was a tie into that. Uh, it's on the Active Relay channel. You can go check it out. That was actually a really good top five. There we go. I'm sorry mine was so bad. It's not bad. I didn't say it was bad. This guy's sleeping I didn't over say it was here. bad. I didn't say it was bad. It's okay. I didn't say it was bad. It's fine. It's good. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. There you go. You're underrated games. Warfighter. Yeah, yeah, Warfighter. Funny. Hey, game. James said he was going to buy it. He was trying to I buy it. I did buy it, and then guess what? I got it. It didn't work. Oh, that's right. Stupid. Uh, eBay. so that's uh, that's the news. Pretty much the news. There's not a lot going on other than NCAA, EA Sports. Uh, Hellblade Two is out. Wait, we're gonna play that game. This is notable games you're already uh, talking about. No, no, I'm just saying. Once we get Hellblade oh, Two, yeah, we yeah. should play it. We'll talk about that more next week. There's also uh, well, actually, let's just get into notable games. Actually, yeah, the notable games uh, I mentioned. Notable, it. Games, it. It. notable we- games. For- we- like that. That was pretty good, right? Good job. Something that was singer myself. <laughs> First um, one. For a, it was a big three today. Big I mentioned three. them last week, but... A big three. New audience. LeBron, Dwayne, Chris Bosh. Not one, not two. What's your not, not what's your LeBron game coming out this week? Hellblade? Hellblade. Gosh, no, I didn't Hellblade want to call it LeBron. Jeez. I would put that Dwayne category, but, you know. All right. I'll probably give... X Defiant would be LeBron, because yeah. that's a big deal. Typical. Sorry. So, big three today. Hellblade, I, I wanted to play last night, but... Yep. It, Came out three. It's Xbox's biggest game, which is good and kind of sad. I'll be and honest with you. Kind of. I want to talk about how they. You mentioned how they marketed this. Yeah, game. Yeah, they marketed this game really poorly. Uh, I don't know how I feel. This is an art house game. Yeah, this game. If you're going into this game expecting open world, like a a good, it's got good combat, but that's not the focal point of the video game by no. any means. <laughs> it's storytelling. Um, it's, it will be. It's largely a walking simulator. Yep, it's true. But probably. your character is schizophrenia. So there's and there is combat though. Yes, you do you do fight things. It happens, but it's not the the primary thing about this game. It's not the focus of this game. It's mainly about this woman who is dealing with her uh, schizophrenia, but she doesn't know she has schizophrenia because it's the 1400s or whatever. A lot of Norse mythology that. going into Iceland yeah. fighting. Right, and uh, it's and all stuff. clouding her mind and her judgment. What's real? You're hearing voices. You should play this game with headphones yeah, on. If you're not even, playing with the headphones <laughs> on, what are you doing? They even mention it in the game. Yeah, they, they tell you. They're wear like, headphones. Hey, play this game with headphones on. Uh, so, yeah, I, and I think it's... Probably good enough to be Xbox's biggest game. I don't think that's an issue. But How would you have marketed it? 
That's the thing. I, I don't know how, you would have, how they would have done it, but it's also just kind of the lack of. Like, there's really hasn't been a whole lot about this game. Is that you, James? You're going to have to cut that because you're going to get copyrighted. Why did I start playing Jamiroquai? Sorry. Oh, wow, that was weird. It's okay. That's probably <laughs> the, the AI companion that must not be named on an iPhone. Uh, uh, sorry. Anyways, uh, the way that it was marketed kind of bothered me. Uh, just in the sense that it wasn't marketed very much from what I've seen so far. There hasn't been a, like a TV campaign very much ran for this game or anything like that. It's mostly they marketed the storytelling aspect, right. which and, people, it probably and, made a lot of people confused. But And a lot of screenshots. That's been the other big thing that I've seen, is just yeah. screenshots. Also, a like, lot that's of not what I'm interested in for this video game. I've heard it's very beautiful. It and is. That's okay. That's great. But the other stuff is like the environmental storytelling that I'm going to get out of this video game just oh, because yeah. of what's happening around me. Uh, and what's happening to my character as we're walking through this, I mean, whatever it is. I, we don't know what we're really walking through right I now. I think but. Senua is one of the greatest video game characters ever. Most interesting, for sure. I'll give you that, for sure. She's dealing with... But that's the other thing, too, is the first game did not really garner a need for a sequel. No, it didn't. That's true. Um, and the first one told a story that was very interesting in dealing with grief and, it and finished. mental illness and whatnot, and there was very much a beginning and an end to the video game. You fight hell at the end, and it was yeah. such a great ending. Spoiler alert, by the way. We'll have to put that at the beginning. Um, of course you... We don't know. We don't the know. Whole maybe point we're telling people going to play to the hell. first game. Yeah, but hell, maybe they haven't hell. played the first game, though. I don't know. So Hellblade, go play Hellblade if you have it, and then play the second one. It's it was, on Game Pass, too. It was, too. James, uh, one of your favorite games was, last year, because you played last year. I think it was my year. second favorite game of last year, if I remember cool. correctly. One of the two. Um, but it was great. I, I loved the first one. I think it was fantastic. It was very much an under-the-radar game. I think it first came out on PlayStation 2. It didn't initially come out no, on Xbox. No, you're right. It was an exclusive for a year, I think. Yeah, and then it came to exclusive. Xbox. Um, and then Xbox ended up buying Ninja yeah. Theory. And tell so, them, and hey, a lot of people were... We're concerned that Xbox would let this team go. Yeah, that was my nervousness. They've already been um, reimbursed. Re no, they've already got the green light for a sequel. This game. Oh, a third one. Yeah. Oh, just announced yesterday. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I so thought that gonna, they were going to shutter Ninja Theory. Me too. Because I be very the way sad. It was marketed. I was like, okay, they're not really investing. It seems like very much into the marketing of this game because they know they're going to shutter the company. That scared me. Yeah. But if they're making a third one, interesting. I'm also curious how this one ends then. And so I mentioned big three that came out today because there's yeah three big games. Another one was X Defiant, which is a free to play online shooter. Terrible name. Terrible Just name. Just a of the worst names. truly awful name. Hey, so Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 is also a terrible name. Yeah, yeah. It's also spelled H-E-L-L-B-L-A-D-E, -L -L -E, but you yeah. fight hell. Which is H-E-L. Which is H-E-L-A, yeah. and you fight in hell, which is H-E-L. Right, again, another spoiler. What are you doing? You do it from the very beginning. What are you doing, man? Oh my gosh. You, James spoiled something last week. Don't even watch what it What did I spoil? Week. It was two weeks ago, actually. Something huge, remember? No, forgot. I don't remember. I remember getting mad at you. Lost, dude. I hate that show. <laughs> I'm just I don't know. The other one is System Shock, which is a, a yeah. immersive sim remake. Talk. Wait, hold on. Talk a little bit about X Defiant. Did you play this? I played the beta. Yeah. Did play you like it? Night. Oh yeah. I think. Remember, I mentioned that this game could be a hit. They just got to get their hit registration down. Mm -hmm. no I've pun. heard. It. I, it's been touted, and we. I feel like we hear this every year, but it has been somewhat touted as a Call of Duty esque, like a. Competitor. To yeah, what I'm most excited about is there are no skill based match matchmaking in this yeah. game in the casual that's big. game modes. Yeah, that's great. I, the more of that, please. Yeah, me, I know. Please, more of that. And it feels like we hear this. I don't know why developers don't listen to this. I mean, it, it seems like there there's very clearly a reason for it, that, or developers would not keep doing it. Um, and I think it's because casual gamers are allowed. They're able to keep on playing because it doesn't feel like they're running so into a bunch it, of. It makes Sweaters. sense in games like Rainbow Six Siege, where there is such a big learning curve. Yeah, true. Or it makes sense. In, I mentioned Quake Champions. One of the biggest um, daggers to Quake Champions was that there was no skill-based matchmaking. So you have people who play Quake, mm -hmm. which is a highly skilled game. And then people who just jumped on, yeah. they would just get destroyed. Annihilated. Right. So and that, Siege would have... If you, if you were just to play Siege yeah. today and you were to play randomly against random people, you're right. most likely going to be playing against people who've been playing it for And five you're also years. not going to be very good. Yeah, you're That's, not you're going to suck. Right. But the thing is, X Defiant, nobody's going to be good because it's the first game. Yeah. You're just yeah, and it's also pretty easy. Right. 
This yeah, is it's a, pretty base. It's basic. a basic Black Ops style. You know, is there, a, game. is there a campaign to this game or is it just no. multiplayer? I couldn't remember. No. Okay, so it's just, just multiplayer. multiplayer. Big sweet. I think they might have a hit on their hands. I'm giving it up to we'll Ubisoft. They just got to get their servers in order. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, they've done pretty good. I will say they've done pretty good with Siege. And then I, System Shock I mean, is the uh, another one that came out today, yeah. and it's just we the talked remaster. about it last week, but it's a it's a remake actually. Remake. Sorry. Um, and it's it came out on PC last year. It's very very good, and it's coming out on console today. Yeah. yeah. These, I want to play it. I'm excited to yeah to get my hands on it. Me too. I'm I don't. Gonna, I, I'm actually, I actually. I actually think it. I'm going to play System Shock Remake before I play Hellblade. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but I wanted to go to Walmart to buy it, and it's not oh, there. Wait, Hellblade? Yeah, no, uh, System Shock. Oh, you're buying the hard copy? Yeah, of, of course, because I love these guys. I love Night Dive Studios, man. I'll give them. And I've already uh, bought this game on PC before, already, last year. Just buy it digitally. No offense to hard, no. to brick and mortar. Okay, no, I'm I understand. not going to. I already have a digital copy of this on PC, so I'm buying the physical. Just, okay. All right. And I'm also going to play this game on my mouse and keyboard because Night Dive always has mouse and keyboard adaptations for Xbox and mm. PlayStation, which is why am I... My computer sucks. Let's just say that. True. All right, number two or whatever on this list, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Hey, you know this guess game? what? Another Paper Mario game. No, it's not another. Oh, it's a sorry. remake of the best Paper Mario game. Paper Mario. Or dude. remaster. Nintendo just... Just they just get on they just, some some drugs and they say let's brainstorm and they're and like they go, what if Mario was paper? <laughs> what if Mario was a piece of paper? It's really weird. Japan's wild, dude. I don't know what they're doing hey, over dude, there. In this game's actually really good. Thousand Year Perfect Door. Things. I've never. It's, here's the thing. Came out on GameCube, the original. Man, the more I think about whatever Nintendo puts out, the more I'm like, man, they are doing drugs and then they're just getting together, brainstorming Pikmin. Who Pikmin, that, who yeah, thought that's of weird. that? No, Nintendo has a bunch of people in their boardroom that know how to sell video games. True. And they know how to produce video games. Very dedicated games, and audience, too. they nail it every single time. So, yeah. good job. What? News. What about news? Bird tree. Bird tree. Oh, yeah. So, there was a trailer. There was a trailer for um, the Shadow new, of the Bird tree. Um... Elden Ring DLC, Shadow of the Ur Tree, which is a two year making. Yeah. Um, I saw the trailer. It was a story. It's a trailer. story trailer, right? It was mostly CG. Yeah. And it's a, it's a story from Elden Ring or from Soft, right? Mm. So it's gonna be good. It's nonsensical. Oh right, yeah. The story is not gonna make any sense. <laughs> no, it does. You just really have to dive deep right. into it. But coming from a trailer, you're like, what are you talking about? What did you just say? Yeah, yeah. That's a I, from Soft. They make. Uh, exceptional games every yes. time they put out a video and game. they're story, compelling no idea what's going compelling on. stories right. you just don't really know what's no happening idea what's going on but they're I, told I, really well i started elden ring i was like am yeah. i missing games did i miss something that nope, was happening in previous universes and no the answer is no they you just really have to dive deep to like fit the pieces together something that i appreciate though about that is they ta they're talking to you as a character that lives in the world yeah so they should know what's going on yeah and that's what I love too. They make it vague on purpose, but right. they talk to you as if they talk to your character, as if the as character if is in the game. You, they know you, or as if you're part of the world. Yeah. Unlike you know, Starfield, where yeah. they talk they to you, explain like, everything to you, like you're playing a video game. Right. It's like okay, understandable. Composite, like, which is funny because Fallout exposition really. constantly. Yeah. Fallout doesn't really do that though. No, and when Fallout does do that, they do it better. Right. Because um, a random person say, hey, that uh, clan over there, they steal, they right. steal stuff from yeah. this other clan. They're like, why did you just tell me that? Oh, because you're probably... A, I'm aware. Yeah. You probably feel the radiation and dying and you just wanted to get it um, off. I will say that something I wanted to bring up when I saw the trailer, they make... And video games have been kind of the culprit of this. They make really long trailers. Like um, three minutes for a trailer from is... Soft? No, not just from stuff. Video games in oh, general games, yeah. do this. Like three minutes for a trailer is an eternity. Like if you go look at movies, like uh, the I Furiosa know. trailer that was first coming out, I think was like a minute 45 seconds. Uh, the Deadpool Wolverine one was like a minute 30 seconds. You also got to remember it's there's weird. way more content to pull. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. But I, I saw that and I was like, three minutes? This is, this is half the game. And gamers really. are fickle. They want to know what kind yeah. of game they're going to buy. It's true. The $70. It is $60 versus, you know, $15 going to a movie theater. It's true. Um, right. So, yeah, Earth Tree. Yeah. 
I, it's going to be huge. That's going to be probably the biggest selling game this year. And it was funny. Yeah. In, it'll it's probably be Elden Ring will probably sell yeah. twice as much. It probably starts. It'll be a big sell again. Yeah. It's going to be massive. It's going to be the biggest selling DLC maybe of all time. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't bro. be stunned by that. I wouldn't be um, surprised. And it's going to put Elden Ring back on the map. And rightfully so. It's one of the greatest games ever made. Yep. I never finished it, but, you know, I respect Definitely it. Definitely my favorite, one of my favorite adventure games where it actually felt like an adventure. Yeah. And then around every corner, like, I'm going to die here again for the But then you have to go somewhere time. else. And then, but that the Elden Ring is one of those games where you get 90% done and you're 30 hours, 40 hours deep and you're just like, how harder can it possibly yeah. get? You're like, it gets harder. And it does get harder. It just but does it's also not more stop. rewarding, too. Yeah. From Soft. They're geniuses over there, man. I think um, they are, too. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. Serum is the next game coming out. Serum. This, one. this is a, a survival game. Typical survival game. Kind of okay. like Rust and stuff like that. Okay. But the setting is unique. It's kind of like a... um, What's that called? A Russian town where the... Resident Evil 8. No. Nine. The nuclear reactor went off. Oh, Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Very Pripyat. Chernobyl-like atmosphere. Pripyat. With mutated Sorry. animals and stuff like that. Okay. And you cool. inject serum. I like this. And it gives you superpowers or it can hurt you. And there's uh, you fight other players um, that are jacked up on the serum. I like that. What you're describing to me right now sounds No, cool. it, that's why I mentioned it because it's a typical it's a survival game. Yeah. But there's some elements that... Got me intrigued. Really quick question. Go ahead. What is your like quintessential survival game? When you think of survival video games, what's the one you think of? Because I think we're going to have different answers on this. Oh, geez, James. I don't know. Number one. I, I think of, I think if of you want Resident to go, Evil. Resident? No. Okay. Sorry. Hold on. Let's read. What? We're going back. Resident, like I'm thinking like Serum. So survival, okay. open world survival game. Um, what's the one you think of? I can't remember what it was. Oh, Daisy. Daisy. You definitely. know what mine is? No. Mine's Ark. Ark, yeah. That, I think a lot of I people I mean, I don't say think that. it's a bad game, but it's funny that that's like the differences. I think Ark pretty much so, made it universal, made all those mechanics that yeah. every survival game uses, made it universal. Yeah. And it went into Conan. They made too. Conan inaccessible. You're yeah. right. Uh, also, I think a lot of people would probably say Minecraft, too. I think you could put that in yes, there. Yes, definitely Minecraft. That's, yeah. the, that's the original. Yeah, that's the, game. or the mastered one, too, yeah. for sure. Um, I think Don't Rust, think. a lot of people would say Rust. I say mm -hmm. Daisy. Daisy's very old. Daisy, that's where you get Battle Royale games. Yeah, the Conan games. Yeah. People would say the Conan games. No, um, that's Ark. Those yeah, guys was, make Ark. I was curious about that because I was like, the only one I, not the only one, but the one that first comes to mind for me is Ark. Even though a lot of people, I mean, Minecraft, obviously, one of the most popular games of yeah. all time. Uh, sorry. Let's talk about what we're playing. James, you're, we're playing. James, what are you we go first. Playing me first. Uh, I was playing a little bit of Fallout. Um, oh I my played, god! Right? Hold on, I'm done. I started Mad Max. Yeah, very good game. Just a chef's kiss of a game. God, I love that game. And I wish, I wish it didn't come out the day it did because it came yeah. out the exact same day as Metal Gear Solid Five: Phantom Pain. One of yeah. the most, most anticipated one of, games yeah, ever. Yeah, one of the most anticipated games of all time. And if it came out at a different time, we could probably be talking about a situation where uh, Mad Max has a trilogy of video games. You I, know I they don't did. think that's out of the realm of possibilities. Because it's great. You it's know a great they, game. Those guys ended up working for id. Um, w, the Warner Brothers guys? Yeah. Or whoever made the same game? guys that made that. They made, oh. um, I forget what they're called. Doom? No, they made uh, Rage 2. Oh, I like Rage 2. Rage 2 yeah. is uh, be an underrated game. Yeah. Rage 2. I Definitely. like Rage 2. Yeah. Never finished it. But the combat. Oh, the ending is so good. Yeah, never finished it. Never finished it. But the combat and stuff is a lot of fun. Yeah. I enjoyed Rage 2. I got to play that game again. I, just, I really like um, the melee combat in Mac, oh, Mad Max. In Mad Max Very Batman esque, yeah. but way more visceral. I, it's. it's Published or made by Warner Brothers. So, of course, it's... It's published by Warner Brothers. The development team oh, is sorry. called something. I forgot what they're called. Sorry. They're called... Uh, uh, Go ahead. Maxine's Video Games. Yep. Maxine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, one of the um, open world games that I really like... I don't, I'm not a huge fan of open world games, mm -hmm. but this one makes sense because it's... Barren Wasteland. Barren Wasteland. And yeah. You drive your car, which is uh, treated like a god. The magnum opus, as yeah. they call it. It's great. Yeah, Mad Max it's underrated. Honestly, an underrated video game just because yeah. it wasn't uh didn't I don't I don't imagine it sold very well when it first came out because it was sent, released the same day as um Phantom Pain, yeah. which is again one of the biggest games 
I'll, of the last decade, probably. Also, in terms of Metal Gear Mad Solid. Max with, um, what is that mode called on the Series X that boosts the frame rate? Is it frame boost? Yeah. Something like that. I can't remember it. Um, it puts this game into 120 frames. Yeah. So originally it was 30. Now it's 120. The game is super smooth. Yeah, it runs Gra- great. The graphics are fantastic. Yeah, it's a beautiful game. It really is. There's not a lot that they're rendering, though, I will say, because no, it is yeah. just sand and not a lot else. <laughs> the, um, the, the storm, of, there's two types of storms. There are your basic sandstorm, mm-hmm. and there's lightning storms. Yeah. I love those. Yeah. They're awesome. That, it, that game's great. If you haven't played Mad Max, especially with Furiosa coming out, yeah. go and play Mad Max. It's is that awesome. Why, is that why you're playing it? Uh, I yeah. I want. I'm gonna watch Furiosa. I recently watched Fury Road again, and I was like, oh man, so I'm in good. the Mad Max mode or the Mad Max mood. So I played the game. I'm playing the game good again. Job. It's great. It's great. Is that but, it? Is all you're playing? Um. Oh, and uh, Medal of Honor. I forgot. I played Medal of Honor. Oh last yeah, week. Warfighter. Uh, the Wait, first one, not Medal of Honor. First one, yeah. The the not the original, but the one that was in the 360. That was a modern rendition. It's not great. Not great. It's but not. It's not great. It's not great. But you have to agree they have they have great headshots, all right? Yes. I will, and they also give you a little icon when you headshot yeah. somebody. Like, hey, hit him in the head. Uh, it's not great. It does run. It runs like a. It it does <laughs> really run. Bad. It runs like a broken down car. It's not great. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, there I were some elements that were they, fun. You could tell that something was there. Yeah, I agree, one hundred percent. I think there are things that I do enjoy, but with that being kind of what was supposed to be the rebirth of the Medal of Honor franchise, obviously with them just calling it Medal of Honor. Um, I can kind of see why it didn't last very long. Yeah, no. I think if you want to play that type of game, I think you should play Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising on the 360. Bad name. Yeah, pretty much. I'll but it has the-, the same type of feel. It's just, you know, more hardcore and mm. better refined. What's the one that you were... T- oh, Frontlines. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. That's more of a Battlefield type of game, mm. but... Um, I'm tagging you in, though, because that's what you're uh, playing. I, that was on my OLI. I forgot to mention it. Frontlines, uh, Frontlines Fuel of War. Fuel of War. That, I, 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 you can still play that game online. I played it the other day. So great. They did a really cool thing in the 360 area for this game. Mm-hmm. They're thinking forward, and that was you had the ability to unlock your frame rate, which right. wouldn't have done much back in the day. But now, when you play it on a Series X, yeah, you can run it on 20, no problem. So it, back yeah, then, it great. was 30 to 30. It'd been like 35, yeah, yeah, and lower, <laughs> right? So, yeah. That's right, the game. That's what playing. I'm playing. Okay, I'm I'm gonna, playing. I'll tell you what I'm playing. I'm playing Jedi Survival. Oh yeah! Did you play the first one, by the way? Yeah, I did. Okay, okay, good. Um, go ahead, yeah, rip it to shreds. James, even though you're do you wrong. like this game? I really like this. I this think... game sucks. What's wrong with it? What do you don't like? What do you not? Like? I'll tell you what I don't like more than anything. I don't like respawn doing this Disney oh, Star see? Wars dance. I don't. Are they making? Are they oh, saving oh. money for something better? Because I want. I want. I want Respawn to do balls to the wall action. I don't want them to do character development because it's not there. <laughs> That's what, what are you talking about? Right um, I don't great. want them to do your basic. So my biggest issue with the modern star Wars and I, and this is probably going to be shared with a lot of people is the changing of the rules of star Wars. Okay. I have never seen a stormtrooper with a stupid electrical staff. Why doesn't they? Why don't they all have blasters? Cool, though. It's because they want to make it very Dark Souls esque, and so there's you know there's even bonfires. Yeah, this isn't this this doesn't feel Except like it's a, easier to. Then. It doesn't feel like a respawn game. You can see the polish and the graphics are great, mm-hmm. but it just feels like a Dark Souls ripoff of Star Wars that is changing the rules and doing weird things. And I don't care about, I think the actor, I love that actor. I think he's a great yeah. actor. What's his Kyle name? Kest, well, the guy that plays Kyle Kestis, I can't remember his name, the real actor's name. Um, I, it's just, everything is predicted. I played for about four out, three hours, three and a half hours. Everything is extremely predictable. I knew right away from the beginning. Like, he's like, he's obviously not being captured. Um, it's just everybody's buddy. Your, your character's buddies always tell them like some sad story oh, about I their like lives them. and how it's, it's so empire, hard to dude. grow up. The empire is so evil. Well, well, I, I, I don't want to hear about the empire ever again with new star Wars. I want to go back to like how Bioware used to do it with like a thousand years before the original star Wars, the old Republic. Yeah, but they're never going to do that. I want them to do something in the, star- the character. I want something in the star Wars universe that doesn't revolve around the, the, the 
main Empire. films. Right. I agree with that. I 100% agree with that, I'm actually. I'm so sick of Star Wars. And uh, Ethan, Ethan Kutkowski. Yes. Kutkowski. That, I think that guy's a great actor, He's and great. it's really nice seeing gingers represented. Okay, dude. <laughs> no, I'm being honest. All right, sorry. Some people like were like, "Oh, he's a ginger! Wow, you can see he's a red hair from a mile away." You know, I like that. I think it's cool. I think it's. You want me to be honest? Yeah. Not necessarily Survivor, but the two games together. I can't remember the name of the yeah. other one. Um, probably the best piece of Star Wars material in the last yeah twenty five years. It just doesn't feel like Star Wars. I'm it okay feels with like that. I'm okay Marvel. with Marvel. I'm okay with that. I don't want Star Wars. You know why? Because Star Wars has been garbage for the most part. Yeah, no, but... So, like, spoiler alert. There are some Star Wars good. games that feel like Star Wars, even though they take place, you know, like the Bioware games. So, and the... Which one? Bio, wait, Bioware games? The Old Republic. Oh, Knights oh, of the Old right, Republic. Right, 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 one right. and two. Gotcha, gotcha. Obsidian and gotcha. Bioware. Yeah. They made... They made it feel like Star Wars. I still think this feels like Star Wars. Though. You know, I, I just... Like I know. I feel... The force I, it feels like the Avengers. Saber and go, he, I do like that he can switch it to a staff. Yeah. And it only gets better from there, sir. It only gets better from there. You guys, yeah. you haven't unlocked the rest the, of it. Awesome. I think that respawn does. They don't do great level design. It's mostly you, oh, you, I, you, I agreed. You mostly just go forward. Yes, thousand percent agree. It also does that thing where they, if you want to unlock stuff, you get it in yeah. the future, and then you have to come back, and it's like yeah. this level's not interesting to me. Yeah, I just need this. Yeah, I want this upgrade. Like my the character. action is interesting. I think the action is cool. I just don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to fight stormtroopers. In a melee combat with some we, what is going on? Why I love, don't they I have like blasters? It. Just wait. It's okay. It, it gets um, once you start getting to different planets. It's, it's they, they really all cool. like surround me with staffs. Yeah. Like, we're gonna get you, and you're like, yeah. But the, that's the thing. The stormtrooper. They were like the original laughing stock. Like it doesn't need to be that way. You can do yeah, something. But, I mean. All right. It is that. All right, so I'm, I'm also playing Frontline's Fuel of War, which inspired me to do my top five. Mm -hmm. I think this game's really good. Battlefield-esque. Very big arenas, I would Sandboxy. say. Sandboxy. Sandboxy. Heavily, heavy on the vehicle combat. Cool. And also, the uh, campaign is great. It's just multiplayer maps, but the narrative is good enough oh, to I play. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know okay. What I mean? Um, you also, it feels like a war. You also have your guys, your mm. um, army, I guess. They actually do things. They're shooting, they help, they flank, they do all this stuff on their own. It's cool. They follow you. So if you want to go from point A to point B, but all your teammates are at point A and you feel like you're going to, you know, ruin things by going off, they'll follow you. They'll mm. split up and some will go with you and some will stay. It's really cool. Okay. All right. Starfield, playing Starfield. Rip it to shreds. Go ahead. I'm re I feel really bad for the people who made the mods for this game. Because oh, yeah. this next gen upgrade is completely BS. It doesn't feel like a next gen upgrade at right. all. The frame rate doesn't even go up that much. The map's cool though. <laughs> and it's the also map. one of those things where you're walking in the futuristic city and someone says, Hey, there's a faction over there that they're stealing equipment from this, you know. Yeah. Bye. Like, why did you just say that to me? I understand when it's said in Open Quest. I understand. Yeah, it's Radiant Quest. Yeah, Radiant Quest. There I understand go. when that happens in Skyrim when they're probably all drunk, when the guards are drunk or something. Yeah. Or in Fallout when they're all like, you know, crazy. Right. But out, when you're jetted out of their mind. <laughs> <laughs> jetted out of their mind. When you're a sophisticated capital city on a different planet and you yeah. have futuristic guns and this guy looks like he. Why would he say that? It's so everything takes you out of the atmosphere in that game. But, everything. By the way, Radiant Quest, yeah. good developer name. Yeah. Do you want to make a team? Yeah. yeah. Name it Radiant hey, Quest. Hey, Bethesda, split off. Get rid of, don't be with Don't Microsoft. split off. No. Stop make it. Make your own self call it Radiant Quest. Could you, and I'm also playing uh, Unicorn Overlord again still. This game right. is fantastic. Vanilla Ware knocks it out of the park again. What else is new? Nothing. Except... Uh, that we're on Shared and Media's page. Good job. Thank you guys for tuning in. That's going to wrap up the show. Uh, this is Active Reload. Again, if you are interested in watching more of our stuff, we have a YouTube channel, Active Reload. Go check it out. Subscribe. Hit the follow button on uh, on our podcasting platforms as well. Wherever you listen to us, we greatly appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, remember to leave a like as well. And then rate our podcast too, if you don't mind. And also, uh, Shared and Media has some great podcasts. Shared and Media as well. Go Follow all the other podcasts that Shared Media puts together and all the other stuff that Shared Media puts together in general.
Yeah. Just do it. We appreciate them uh, and our employers, obviously, but allowing us to put it on the yeah. YouTube channel as well. We do a lot of work for it, too. I put my I put a lot of effort into we, everything. We put, a lot of, we put a lot of effort into everything. That's what we do. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be back next week on the Active Reload channel. So go and check it out again. Subscribe so you can see us next week. Uh, for now, that's it. See you guys next week. Peace.